Shalom, shalom, Israel. Um, this is your brother, Nai Yaakov. Um, I'm kind of upset. In a good way, not in a bad way, but... I'm upset, and I'm going to tell you, and I'm explaining to you why. Um, I'm finding out, and I'm reading, and I'm seeing what's going on in the world right now. And... People are dying, y'all. And they're dying like how they regularly used to die, day by day, by our own hands. But now pestilence is in the earth. And it's shaking up whole nations. Whole nations. You understand what I'm saying? And... People are not just dying from the disease, but those who die from the disease, as well as those who suffer the passing of a loved one, are all dying. And I say that because the one who suffers to see his wife, his kid, and you know his family members all die. And even even his economy. See that we're all plunging into chaos. They're committing suicide. And people are dying by the butt loads, bucket loads, you know, barrels, you know, people are perishing. And with regards to this, to see and to hear all that that's happening. The thing that gets me upset are you foolish, impudent, docile, nonchalant, benign fools who look at it and say it's nothing. It doesn't matter. Oh, if I'm going to get it, I'm going to get it. If it's meant for me, it's meant for me. And it's more of y'all out there like that, like whatever, not caring. Oh, I'm not going to stay in my house. I'm not going to be a prisoner. I'm not going to this. I'm not going to that. You know, um, uh, uh, and it, it, for, for me, it goes all always. You know, it's not just the ones who have to stay in their house or should stay in their house. It's the ones who cause those to stay in their house. It's like man is chaotic everywhere. The leaders who instruct the people on what to do and the people who don't listen to the leaders or those who listen to the leaders. Like it doesn't matter what you do, whether you think you're doing good, whether you think you're doing bad, it's all chaotic without the father. But I am truly upset with you who in the presence of the anger of God do not take this thing seriously. Those of you who brush this thing off your shoulders like it's nothing. Let me ask you a logical question. <clears throat> very, very logical question. What's higher in faith? Is it the one who walks around puffed up with his nose in the air saying, I got faith. I'm not worried about it. Ain't nothing going to happen to me. And with that, before I get to the, 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 the latter portion of it, which one of us are sure, which one of us know for sure that we've studied a right, that we've traversed the right path in him, that we are doing the right thing. Which one of us knows for sure? You know, um, a faith worship at the one at the shrine of a God that, that 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 that's unseen. You understand what I'm saying? You don't see your God face to face, but in faith you do according to that which He has said, that which He has spoken. You understand what I'm saying? And so. In faith, we have been doing this thing, but 
there has the only accreditation family that we have is what's written. And what's written is not always rightly understood. So that leaves man with a doing unknowingly and a deed unaware where he does the right thing in hopes that it was good and hopes that it was right and only sticks to the fact that it is good and it is right because that's what's written. But because rewards are not given immediately, we still know not. And then because hearts are not truly revealed, we still know not. So even the righteous before the Father cannot step to the Father full of pride, full of haughtiness saying, I'm righteous, ha ha, look at me, I can walk in the kingdom, I can make it in. No, even the righteous if they are truly righteous, would be humble in this situation, regardless of their track record, in a sense. Regardless of what they've done or how righteous they feel themselves to be, they still, re- they, they still must respond as the sinner because that's what we all still are. So, Is it higher in faith to walk with haughtiness before the Father? Or is it higher in faith to, in the presence of the Father, reverence Him in all fear, in all trembling? You understand what I'm saying? If you truly be righteous and you know that you're going to be the one, one of the ones to uh, 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 be saved within your heart because you can look back on a good track record. Yeah, you might be able to, but if you truly be righteous, as I have said, another name for priest is example. And so, you would put on sackcloth in this moment. You would throw dust upon your head in this moment. And you would set the example of what the ignorant must be in the earth. Because in the anger of God, they have no example as to how they should be. When they look at you, they see pride, they see full of heartiness, they see someone walking around in faith in the wrong way. Because faith is not brushing off the work in the hand of God. Faith is respecting the work in the hand of God. You understand what I'm saying? And so those who do righteous will set the example in the earth of righteousness and fear in God. You understand what I'm saying? And so they will walk fearfully. They will do fearfully. They will respond respectfully. You understand what I'm saying? In what the Father has done in the earth. And so men are out there killing themselves. And they are out there doing things. So we should stand in mourning right now. Knowing that the mark hasn't been made clear to us within us. Because even though in this last hour they can be saved. The righteous can also be lost. You understand what I'm saying? And so when you realize That you must be all the way to the very end. Look, I've lived my whole life in the fear of God, which caused me to seek out the truth, which caused me to live out the truth, which caused me to believe and do everything that the Father commanded unto me in the word of God with my whole heart. And to say that I remain, I, I, I've been fearful in him my whole life to come up to the point of judgment. Look, fearful of judgment too. To come up to the very door and threshold of judgment and all my fear be gone. Then that would make my former fear greater than my latter fear. 
And that would make my former fear null and void because my latter fear was uh, 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 benign in the Father. And so in the presence of God, I will obtain greater fear in his presence. Because this is the God I've been waiting for. I would be in greater awe, you understand, at his at the sound of his voice. Because this is the God I've been waiting to hear from. Like a like 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 we are in the presence of a, a, a carnal man is in the presence of a famous person. Ah, you know, ooh, you know, and hey, how you doing? And treating them like they're some type of greater than 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 a than a normal and human being. And that brings me to another point. Don't y'all see what has been done? You who are fearless and care not about the hand of God moving in the earth. Don't you see what's being done? You see, where well, there was one communication, so it seems, in the earth. The Father has set pestilence in the earth. That separated every man from every man. You understand what I'm saying? Household from every household. Nation from every nation. You understand? You can't even travel freely anymore. You can't go about freely anymore. There's always so-called social distancing. If social distancing had a name during the time of Babel when all the names, all the languages were were uh, 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 twisted up and there were multi- a multiplicity of languages according to everyone's bit, bestial nature. You know, and y'all don't understand that secret, but it was all twisted and everybody spoke out of their own essences and they kind cleaved unto Klein and there was a separation in the earth. Or a sense social distancing in the earth in the time of Nimrod. Don't y'all see that? And so Babylon has fallen, has fallen. Babylon has fallen. And when you all realize that, when you all take that to, 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 to the core of your essence, you will understand how close we truly are. And again, if I shall speak. Wasn't it pestilence, the very last plague that was sent to Egypt, you know, that killed the firstborn, whereby, oh no, that was death, (laughs) because pestilence did come in, so y'all got, y'all, y'all might have a little bit of time, but death sure went out and, and killed the firstborn, but death is still here, you understand, and it's still destroying us as a people. You know, or or the uh, it's still destroying the earth. Period. Now Babylon is going through judgment right now, people. And the beginning of the judgment of Babylon is the confinement, or confoundment of their senses, shaking and stirring things up, causing people to be separated and not on one accord. You know, uh, uh, there, there's no one accord with the people and their leaders no more. There's no one accord with with uh, 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 people uh, uh, in in uh, from from person to person. There's no more one accord. You know, there's there's too many differences out here for this world to continue to stand. Period. And so the hand of the Lord went out, family. All praises to the Most High. And confounded the one language of Babylon. The one language of Babylon. Their carnal and monetary existence. Everything that man loved is now no more. And it's all been confounded. And some of y'all think that, oh, the confinement is going to go or the pestilence is going to end. And yet, and yet I'm seeing reports about them talking about a second wave of pestilence that's getting ready to come. You know, can people catch the, the virus yet again after having caught it once before? And some of y'all have faith on the body building an immune system. 
But if we're in the time of the father where his anger is prevalent all the more, where you thought you may have established the immune system, you've established nothing. And yet you will be susceptible to catching it yet again. Y'all know not. Babylon is fallen. Which means that the man or the carnal man that was once one. I don't hear nothing about uh, 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 gay pride anymore, right? Um, I don't hear nothing about um, uh, 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 false holidays anymore. I don't hear nothing about anything else but what the Father's hand has done in the earth. No other wicked thing in the earth. No other uh, 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 hate speech. And the, the path that we were going, uh, 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 that, that, that mankind was going on one accord, has been instantly stopped. If you don't notice that, then something's wrong with you. You're off. But the path that they were going leading up to a uh, 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 full control or one world government or whatever it was has been halted. There's no more talk in the earth about nothing but what the Father is doing. Y'all don't think that it's his hand? Y'all belittle it. Even though I feel like I've lived a good life in the Father and have done my best, I will still show forth the example of fearfulness in Him. And so I will say I'm fearful. The Father is moving and I've got to make sure I, I get my house in order. What about you? That's all I'm going to make sure that people understand that if you look at me, know for a a, a surety that I am one person that this is affecting to the point to where I want to make sure I'm walking right in him. I'm doing right in him. I'm fearful of any sin in him, doing any wrong in him. Y'all got to understand Show forth the example in the earth as to what the ignorant must or needs to be doing. When they continue to talk their worldly talk, take them off that worldly stream and say, y'all ignorant, bruh. This thing is happening. Y'all don't see the hand of God moving and watch where they once used to rebut you. Well, they once used to talk against you by talking crazy and ignorant about God coming or this being apocalypse. They will remain silent and fearful from that alone. And they will listen. And the thing is, this is only going to get worse. And so if they don't listen now, they're going to eventually listen soon enough. But the harvest is ripe. And people are ready to hear. People are ready to listen to that which is right. But the thing is, are you right to be telling it? And so, just like I say, all facets of this is twisted and wrong and chaotic. See, those who go out and try to tell people to get their house in order is your house in order. You know, and and, and do you know how to walk aright in him? You see, have we all been, what what have we really been spending our time doing in this earth? Have we really sought out the truth with regards to what's happening right now? You know, and it it makes me uh, so upset. Because, one, people have wasted all their life chasing after carnal things. And now they know not which direction to turn. Everybody looks like a, 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 a just a, a creature incapable of caring for itself who has lived one lifestyle and now is being thrust into another. Y'all are out here being foolish. And then you got the righteous man who sets no good example. The one who thinks he is or she is the righteous one. 
who sets no example of, of, of how to be in this point in time. You see, the father in the scriptures even told a prophet to set the example of what men are going into. Having him work in as a slave in sackcloth and in ash. And these prophets were some lowly prophets, y'all. Just to set forth the example of what man should be in the presence of God. Lowly, humble, and meek, and never full of pride, never self-confident, but always, Father, you know everything. You know my heart. Seek it out. Search within me. You see, and reveal to me myself, because I know not even myself. I know not where I stand in you. I know not what I am in you. I know not what use am I to you. I know nothing about me towards you, towards all that you have created. And so, tell me where I am wrong. Reveal unto me the sins that I do in ignorance. Help me to continue and begin a walk in you. To begin and continue a walk in you. And I will strive my hardest, Father, to do the best that I absolutely can. But if only I knew where I stood in you. Yeah, and I, I, I hear even some voices say, well, I know where I stand, but I guarantee you where you think you stand is nowhere near where you ought to stand in him. And you still got to keep going. Keep going with every step as if you never took the, the last step. You understand what I'm saying? Every step is brand new. Every step is like you're coming out of sin again and again and again. And you work that way. You always work at the beginning. As if you never reach the end in order to achieve the end in the presence of God. Stop walking around here and taking my father for a joke, y'all. Y'all are out your minds. He is moving. People are committing suicide. People are out there dying in droves. You understand what I'm saying? Like this is happening. We are in the last times. If y'all continue to push it off. As if this is not now. Y'all, we, sad to say, but we all know the story. <laughs> a great storm is coming. A great flood is going to happen on account of that storm. And so, we are all ordered to evacuate. And here you go. I got faith. I'm not leaving. Okay, a car comes by and says, hey, man. A storm is coming. It's going to cause a great flood. Let's go. <laughs> he says, nah. I got faith. God is going to protect me. The car leaves like, okay. I don't have extra oil for you. So I can't give you my extra oil. So I got to go. All right. And like I said, the foolish, they won't even receive it. Then another one comes. As the flood is, as the storm is is, is toppling over the, the, the city and flooding the land, one comes in a boat and says, hey, we got to go. Hurry, come. Let's go. This is happening. And so the one who claims to be full of faith says, you know what? I ain't going to worry about it. God is going to cover me. You can go. I got faith. I'm covered. I'm good. I ain't got to worry about this flood. And then the flood reaches and topples over the top. Uh, it reaches where he has to go on the top of his roof. You understand? And it, and it, and it floods the, the entire inside of the home. So now he's standing on the top of the roof, still full of foolish confidence. And sure about himself in the presence of God. And so an airplane comes. Man, come on, climb up this ladder. Let's go. No, I'm good. I got faith. I ain't got to worry about it. We all know this story. Come on. Y'all not foolish. But yet, we talk about someone who has been foolish. And who is 
foolish. And he says, no, I got full of faith. I'm all right. I'm good. Don't worry about me. God got me. I'm covered. And so he ends up drowning and goes in the presence of God. And he says, Father, why didn't you save me? He said, you foolish. I came to you three times. And so I'm telling y'all right now, you fools out there, we are in the midst of the apocalypse. We are in the midst of the last days. The Father's hands has moved. And let me tell you, pestilence has come. I already told you it was coming. But pestilence is just the beginning of the greatest woes we have ever seen on the face of this earth. You understand what I'm saying? You all have no idea. Pestilence is just the one. And listen at what Christ says. Pray you. Keep you prayed up. So that you may be counted worthy. Keep you prayed up. Full of faith. And doing your best to overcome all your sins. So that you may be counted worthy. To make it past these greater woes. That are coming. That are already thrust upon us. We are already in the midst of chaos. And so if y'all want to continue to walk your walk. And not walk your walk in the fear of God. Then truly fear will overtake you. And you will find yourself lost in Sheol. With no way. In Hades. With no way to turn back around. Because you waited. And you said in your heart, see, all y'all believe in being lifted up all of a sudden and y'all don't believe in anything happening. Hey, because people haven't disappeared like we've been taught in our churches about this rapture and stuff like that. So people haven't vanished. But I'm telling y'all, while you yet have your being, while things yet may seem good for you, while you yet have breath in your lungs, Ears to hear, eyes to see, nose to smell. While you yet have your being, do your best to change. Do your best to honor and serve the Father. Show forth fear in the earth of God. Show the fear of God in the earth because that's where all men need to be. We are dirty rags going in his presence. Even though you may think you may be righteous, the father who is all righteous can condemn you and be right about it. You understand what I'm saying? Even though you may have think you walked a, a holy and a good walk, the father can still condemn you and be 100% correct about it. And if that don't fear you, if this pestilence ain't sparking some type of fear of God in you, where well, y'all ready to hear and receive the words of God, then ain't nothing can help you. Ain't nothing can help you. You who think you're confident, yet your confidence and your confidence is in part. Your faith is in part. Y'all haven't learned the full understanding, the full truth. And as long as you walk like you think you know it all, you're gonna find up and realize you knew nothing from the get-go. This is y'all last hope. This is Earth's last chance to turn it around before it's too late. And for some of y'all, it already is. And it's so sad. Peace and blessings.